Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today we have an R720 uh, server, and I figured that we would walk through a motherboard replacement. It's pretty much the same steps, regardless of the model that you have. So the first thing that you do is you take the lid off. If you cannot get the lid off, it is because it may be in the lock position. Right? So here you can see that this is simply a turn. If it's in the unlock position, you're good to go. If it's in the lock position, it's not going to open. So you literally just turn it with a flathead or a Phillips. Lift this up. Take the cover. Put it to the side. And you're in. So the way that I like to do this is kind of start from the front to the back. And we are going to need to remove all of the uh, peripherals. So if you have any hard drives in the front and trays, you're going to want to remove those. If you have any power supplies, you're going to want to remove those. And they just pop out like that. And that gets you the uh, ability to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the fan. This is for a 3.5 chassis, but it will work the same for a 2.5 chassis, a 16 bay 2.5 a 24 bay 2.5 or a 12 bay 3.5 so with the the fans removed we're going to put them here and you're going to see why uh, i'm doing that in a minute but we're going to use this for the wires to make it easier for us so you have your three risers we're going to just rock them out okay pull them out and then you can see here that there's a guide when we go to put that back in right so you just kind of line it up slide it in we have a little hole here, make sure everything fits. We're going to take that put to the side. We're going to do the same thing for riser 2. Again, a, a rocking motion. You don't want to be too crazy with it. You want to be a little gentle. These are plastic. This is metal. This is your first riser. And we're just going to do the same thing. Rock it, lift it, put it to the side. Then we're going to go back to the front here. And we're going to take it off these here. So to do that, you just get a screwdriver and you just have screw the screws. And just take that, put that to the side there. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Again, just two screws. And we're gonna put that to the side. So put them over here. All right, now, the RAID card we can remove with two clips, and the way that we're going to do that is it just kind of very easily, you know, like these will break if you're not careful, so you want to be a little easy on them. You just kind of push this down, and then push this down with increasing pressure until you hear a pop. But you don't want to go too hard because you'll break the clips. That's how you get your RAID controller out of the board. Then here, you got two screws for your primary onboard quad nick card and again these just kind of go pop pop like that and you have your nick card out all right now it's work it's a little interesting so what we're going to do is start to remove the wires <sighs> gonna zoom in for this part boop all right Starting from the back, you have this here, this piece here, this kind of just slides this way, right? So you just kind of push it here, you got a little, actually I'm wrong, it just lifts up. So you just lift this one up, put it over there, and then this piece we're going to be taking off as well. But before we do that, we have to remove two cables, right? So this is your DVD power cable that runs along the front to your uh, there's no dvd drive in this one but if you had a dvd drive that's where it will go D it's actually dvd drives over here so we're going to pop this guy up we're going to pop this guy up and we're going to put it underneath the fan to keep the wires out of the way the first two wires out you got one more left to pull it's this white one right here and again, the way that this works is it's a push, it's a push, right? So you're going to push this in, 
and then you're going to pull up. And I know that the, you can't really see, but that's how it works, right? You push, and you pull up. There you go. I'm going to put him in the fan trim. Now we can take this guy out. All right, that gets us access to the iDRAC cables here. Uh, can be a little finicky, so I like to use something like this. Uh, this is just like a regular painter's tool. But essentially what it does is it helps people with big hands like myself get a little easier clearance. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just do the same thing. It's a push-pull, right? So you're going to push this in, and you're going to pull it up. And then we're going to tuck that away. And then here in the back, you have your motherboard. Again, it connects to the iDRAC, and this one is just an old-school serial type cable and you just kind of lift that up with your fingers you'll see that there is a bolt over here the lighting is not great but you hopefully can see that and then this comes around like that lift this up put this here i don't know where this is oh don't know what that is uh so we're going to put that to the side all right now we're going to flip and we're going to go to the other side and this is going to be to remove your SAS backplane again um, this has a little pin right so you kind of push this down and you pull out don't pull too hard okay and if you're seeing that you're doing it and it's not coming out just try again just be gentle slide this guy out all right and then you see the cable runs along the side to the back plane. I guess for a 3.5 chassis, but it'll be very similar. The back the SAS cables on the back plane just might be in a different spot. All right, and with that, we just need to remove the power cables from the back plane. And depending on the board, it's gonna depend on the amount. So if you have an eight bay 2.5, you're gonna just have one power supply. If you have a 3.5 eight bay, you'll have two. If you have a 16, 2.5, you'll have two. And if you have the 24 bay you, or the 12 bay, you will have three, right? So you, there's one power cable here, one power cable here, one power cable here, and that is for your SAS back plane. So to take these out, you literally just push the pin down, right? Just just a push, just push this down. And you get this guy bang out. And then we're going to do do the same thing all right so you just push this down and we get that out like that there we go now to get the motherboard out it's a very similar uh process and it's not terrible really so you see this you have your blue pin here you hold on to this all right so you get, you get your, your fingers on there like that and then this guy here you're going to just pull up Right? This is a locking pin. So when you lift this up, you literally can see the arrow saying, hey, we're going to go that way. Right? So we're going to pull this up. We're going to take this. We're going to go bop. All right? And then to get it out, I like to kind of do like a side a side wiggle. Right? You see what I'm doing? I'm lifting from the side, and I'm pulling out this way. And just like that, you got your bad motherboard out. And then to put it back in, you just do the steps in reverse. Now, I'm not going to do the steps in reverse because i got to ship this one out. But if you needed to do it, you just follow the same steps. Just go backwards. Thanks for checking out my video. Have a great day.